Hey bugs, welcome back to my channel. This is Deborah here from Body Garbage Handmade Soaps. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share this video. It really helps me out a lot. And I'm pretty sure you hear that from every YouTuber, but it's the truth. At any rate, I did ask you guys some questions on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, or rather ask you guys to ask me some questions, but either way, you get the gist. If you're not following me on Instagram, please follow the link in the description box below where it says um, social uh, media or social follow, something like that or another, but it's in the description box down below. Um, as a little disclaimer, if you guys are impartial to silk bonnets, which I have on my head right now and partial nudity you need not watch this video the rest of you I'll catch you in the next clip Open up. You op first of all you guys holy moly <laughs> this water is freaking hot I didn't Bruh. mean to make it this hot and I'm kind of a klutz. I do have the bathroom door open because I like heat, but I don't like to sit in the tub for too long and not um, feel any type of air. So if you hear anything in the background, that's the fan. And look at this. Like, who am I with this missing nail? Anyway, I'm getting it fixed on Monday, Saturday. But the fan is playing in the background. I have the window open, the door open so the air can circulate. Um, standing in the tub. And um, anyway, let me stop being funny. Let's sit down in this. Okay, so as I'm posted up against the wall with <laughs> these water sprinkles, <laughs> Oh my god, this bit this video is a complete like it's all over the place. <laughs> so is my freaking nail. This is annoying me so much. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so we have our first question. Finally, people on Instagram, well social media rather, do not follow directions. I literally posted a video and said, Hey bugs, I'm filming a video. Ask me anything you want. And everybody's like liking it. Like ask me a question but anyway that's beside the point so my first question is what inspired me um, to start making soap and this is from chosen designs um, if you are um, on Instagram you can actually follow them there it's C-H-O-Z-I-N designs um, you'll find um, her link in the description below I'm gonna leave that there for every anybody and everybody that asks me a question so anyway she wants to know what inspired me to start um, making soap and quite honestly um, and I get this a lot from people like oh I have sensitive skin I can't use handmade soap and it's like dude you don't even know or can't pronounce what's in the soap that you use whether it's body wash bubble bath or a hard bar of soap like it's so many soaps out there on the market people are just thinking about you know price instead of what it can actually do to help you maintain or create um healthy skin and a healthy skin regimen so to answer that question i was inspired um, to start making soap or you know starting my soap business because I myself have very sensitive skin um, You can see like I have a lot of dark spots here a lot of bumps and that's from right now wearing my um, actual hair in my face or like you know um, weave if you will in my face and like the oil from that um, so I have oily combination skin in some parts it's a mess and then I have like a patch of eczema so I wanted to um, create something for me that, you know, would help um, combat like these different um, things that I have going on with my skin. And I figured, you know, once I started letting some of my family and my friends use them and I got their feedback, um, you know, that it would be a good idea for me to start marketing and selling 
my products because obviously if it works for me then you know it should work for everybody else now don't get me wrong everybody has different skin and that's why I make different products for different people so you know that's basically the gist of it you know I wanted to create something for myself for my sensitive skin and something that was um, natural and that you know didn't have all of these quote-unquote bad ingredients in them um, I started doing research and I started educating myself so that I would be able to educate other people you know when they started asking me um, different questions about my soap making experience um, or you know with my soaps in general so there you go chosen designs I hope this helps understand um, helps you understand better why you know I decided to start making my own soap so next question okay bugs so with me being partially deaf because I have my ears in the water and don't mind my twist <laughs> but um, we have our next group of questions from Holly at aromatic soaps and if you don't um, know about Holly or her channel or anything like that I will leave the information in the description box below and um, you can follow her on Instagram and subscribe to her channel um, she does make awesome videos and some awesome soap. I've actually tried her products and they're amazing, just like she is. So her first question to me was, um, what soap maker inspires me on, um, on YouTube? And this is so weird. <laughs> um, the water is cloudy because of my soap, just to let you guys know. So it kind of like looks milky white. But anyway, um, I would have to say it's a really hard question, but it's not too hard. So I would have to say um, she does, quite honestly. Like, I don't want to sound corny or cliche because she's my friend or whatever the case may be. But um, honestly, like, she really does. Like, she has not been on YouTube for very long. And, um, you know, she worked her butt off to reach 1,000 subscribers. And not only did she reach 1,000 subscribers, but she gets about three times, four times that amount of views on, you know, all of her videos, which you can't really say all the time for most small YouTubers. And that's an amazing achievement. And I just want to commend you for that, Holly, because it's, it's freaking awesome and you're awesome too. Um, so let's move on to the next question that she asked us. <laughs> this looks weird, but it feels so good. Anyway, our next question um, is where do I see my amazing business? And those are Holly's words, not mine. <laughs> Even though my business is amazing. This is a little dry spot. Anyway, so where do I see my business in five years? So in five years, I really would love to um, have some stockists. Like my ultimate goal is to not have a store. If I do end up getting a store, that would be freaking awesome. Um, like who wouldn't want one? But my um, ultimate goal is to be in major chains like Walmart and um different places like that even some supermarkets and i just want to be in the comfort of my home um you know wholesaling and um you know getting good sales from off of my own website like that's my ultimate dream is to make soap and pajamas for the rest of my life and just be able to do what the heck i want to do when i want to do it Okay, so I'm feeling like alligator arms over here because my arms are not very long <laughs> and they hurt from holding this phone up so you guys can't see anything risque besides my neck and my face. Um, but anyway, let's try to lower ourselves down again. <sighs> okay, you got a little glimpse of boob. Don't report me. <laughs> But anyway, uh, let me move this without me 
dropping it on my face has that ever happened to you guys like you're holding your phone and like you're watching something and it just like it just falls like a lot of times I could have sworn like I was missing teeth because I smacked myself in the face with either a phone or um, some type of um, like my iPad or something or another like that it's crazy I'm very clumsy but thank God for me I have one of these little pop-up things um, on the back so I can hold my phone kind of comfort comfortably between um, two fingers oh do you like my tattoo it's a Gemini tattoo I got it when I was 25 I'm not gonna tell you how old I am now <laughs> I feel so old um, but anyway our next question um, also again from Holly oh I'm gonna get water in my eye um, another question from Holly was, um, oh damn, what was the question? Oh, what is my favorite, um, product that I've made and why? And I would have to say most recently, um, as you guys have seen, I've been making more, um, liquid soap. Sorry, I'm just adjust adjusting my hands so that I can rest. Um, one arm for the other anyway um, I recently started making um, liquid soap again and one of the items that I have made is my natural shampoo and oh my gosh it is amazing like for somebody with kinky type texture hair um, for me and I'm going to um, let other people try, try it out so if you want to be a product tester um, leave me a comment down below and just say product tester and um, and leave your email so that I can email you um, I'm working on that <laughs> but anyway um, that would have to be my favorite one um, it's something different it's not a shampoo bar with a bunch of surfactants it's not a sh um, shampoo bar period um, it's liquid soap um, and I really trust the ingredients that I put into it. Um, it smells amazing. The lather is awesome and on point. And I will be giving you guys an update um, because from the last time um, you guys saw it, which was in the video when I did the dilution and the um, consistency check, it has dramatically changed since I've been letting it sit. So I'm gonna update you guys on that. But yeah, that one is my favorite thus far. You guys know you like my Sealy Plats. Don't hate on the hair. But anyway, um, just to add to that whole favorite product thing, I would have to say my other, uh, my second favorite product would have to be my um, lemon iced tea soap. Like I totally, for me personally, I totally reached out of the box and um, made that from the heart like I love iced tea and that soap came out smelling amazing look oh it burns smelling amazing looking amazing and it's just awesome so yes I'm using a washcloth to dab in my eye so that the product from my hair won't keep dripping into it like that really hurt like water in your eye is no joke and um, if you were wondering I use several different washcloths because that's just who I am so this is my face cloth so that's why it's like <coughs> right here in my eyeball but um, yeah so those two would have to be my absolute um, favorite the natural shampoo and the um, lemon iced tea soap and if you haven't um, seen the making of those videos then I will leave the links um, in the description box and also in the comments and the lemon iced tea soap is also available now online so if you're following me on Instagram um, you know about the sale if you're not then you should follow me on Instagram so you can learn about the sale and be able to participate for our end of summer sale um, on to the next question so I had to adjust my phone so I could get some sort of light from this bathroom my fingers and my toes are gonna be so pruny after this oh gosh I'm not looking forward to it but um our last and final question well actually the one before was the last but I saved this one for last because it's absolutely hilarious but she wants to know 
speak, still speaking of highly of aromatic soaps when I'm coming to visit her. Never! I'm not coming down here with alligators and flying cockroaches and all of that. Like, no. I'm staying away from the South. No, no, no. I have to come and see you. So it'll definitely be soon. Um, I just have to get some things in order and we will be down there and I'm gonna force her you guys to make a video with me and you have to show your face and you have to talk we're just gonna do like a vlog type of video it's gonna be like Rob Deerdick and um, the big dude so it's like hanging out with my best friend <laughs> It's going to be awesome. She's awesome. You guys are going to love it. And I, I can't wait. I just cannot wait. Okay, folks. So, I'm going to end this video here. I just want to thank everybody that asked me questions. Um, and I hope you got the answers that you were looking for. I'm going to do this again. So, feel free to um, leave me more questions. Um, I'll probably not be in the tub, <laughs> but I'm going to do a Q&A again. Um, so please drop any questions that you have in my DMs on Instagram. That's the easiest way to communicate with me. Um, for some apparent reason, sometimes I get um, my emails in my spam folder. So, Or you could actually, you know what, you could um, add me on here. I believe you can and you should be able to um, send me messages on here look into um, your notifications and you should be able to send me messages on here as well and if you can't find it um, then like I said just go ahead to Instagram and DM me um, so thank you guys for taking a bath with me I'm actually going to take a bath right now like I'm gonna bathe or whatever and um, I'll catch you guys in the next one so if you enjoy videos like this please let me know leave it in the comments down below and I'll be sure to accommodate when I can um, if you're new to this channel and you have not yet subscribed please do so it really helps me out a lot and I really would love for my family to keep growing I do appreciate everybody and um, you know all of their comments their subscriptions and sharing and just making you know um me feel not lonely on youtube <laughs> i'm such a nerd <laughs> but anyway thank you guys again i appreciate you as always be well and stay blessed and bye for now That little exit did not work. <laughs> Let's try it again. Open up. You open up. Bitch, you won't be We should be closer than friends. Uh.